Oh, it's a good catfish. Real nice catfish. Yes, indeed, folks. All right, everybody. We're down here in South Louisiana, and you are watching Outside the Levees. I am your host, Jared Serenay. It's a little bit of a breezy day. We got lots of sunshine, and I'm going to put out some jug lines. That's right. I don't know what I'm going to catch. It could be a crab. It could be a catfish. It could be a garfish. It could maybe even be a snapping turtle. But that's what we're doing today. We want to be super active. Let them jugs sit for a little while and just keep on checking them. So I got this little brackish water canal that I'm going to try out. Let's get right into it. All right, got my jug lines here. Some real strong black tarred line and a circle hook. Going to put some cut mullet on there. All right, got some cut mullet. There it goes. All right, y'all, so I've got 12 jug lines out with some cut mullet. Uh, I'm gonna probably go see if I can catch a little bit more fresh bait. That mullet had sat out maybe just a little bit too long. Definitely had a nice ripe smell to it, but maybe that'll work, right? Like maybe that, you know, that whatever that is, that nastiness will travel through the water and attract some of that stuff we're trying to catch. I did see one jug get tugged on quite a bit. I didn't want to grab it right away just in case it was a garfish. So let's uh, let's go see if we can catch a little bit of bait and then we'll start checking jugs. All right, got my first fish. Oh, he come off. Okay, dang it. Well, let's see. Maybe it's not moving. I thought it was moving. Uh, nope, tangled up. All right. This one had something on it, and I think it let go or whatever. Let's see if it's, it does have bait, which is good. Got a little bit of bait. That one appears to be moving. Ah, it's probably out of bait. Come on, keep moving. Stay on, baby, stay on. There we go, all right. Now we got something we can turn into bait if we need bait. All right, y'all, I got some of that garfish cut up. I'm just gonna go ahead and use it for bait. I got a jug moving up there still. Let's go ahead and put these back out. Let them get to fishing. fish on that one put it on out 
trying to get away. He's doing his best to get away. Ah, turd. See where he comes up at. There he is. There he is. Got it. Come on. Catfish. Yes. All right. Got a catfish. That's what we wanted. Awesome. Heck yeah. There we go. All right. First catfish. We on the board. guys see that's something we could use for bait though that's good that's what i needed a little catfish like that i could use for bait perfect all right i got my catfish that i just caught the little guy and we're gonna throw that out for bait cool so this is interesting the catfish i just caught came off with a piece of garfish and look that noodle's getting taken too very interesting all right you go ahead out use the tree to push me out uh, look that one's got a fish on it catch that noodle with my boat been a garfish let it go ah uh, i got one on this shrimp boat here i gotta be careful can't hit his boat let me see i'm trying to be mindful and respectful of the boat while also trying to get my noodle i think i can get it there we go all right what we got oh a nice catfish hey he's caught up on that shrimp boat rope ah. oh boy. all right they don't ever make it easy do that all right i think i got him off the shrimp boat rope i'm just gonna yank him right in here in case he tries to come off there he is all right nice catfish Nice old catfish. He has swallowed this thing terribly bad. I don't know if I'm getting that out right now. All right. And I'll put some of my catfish bait on there. And we'll throw him back out. Oh, 
All right, folks, as you can see, I am starting to get a few catfish, which is what, like, that was my intended species. Um, we did get that one little spotted gar who I was able to cut up and use for bait, so that was cool too. But just a beautiful day. Very blessed to be out here in God's creation. Very blessed to be out here collecting food. You know, that, that is what we do on this channel uh, in a lot of ways. You know, we take, we take some of the knowledge of the past, the things that we were taught, the things that I learned, um, and, uh, and, and then we take, you know, God's creation and we, we were able to, to take that home and eat it. And that's just a really big deal. And that's really what this channel is all about. Um, and I just want to thank you for being a part of it, you know, week in and week out. And, you know, if you've been following for any amount of time, you can see that we've really been putting out a lot of videos and some of it's finally starting to click on YouTube and we're starting to see some of the return that, that I've put out all this time. And if you're new, welcome, you know, uh, I'm Jared, Jared Serenade. This is Outside the Levees. This is what I do. And, and as I'm trying to explain right now that, you know, what, uh, what's important to me on this channel is just to go out and harvest something. And uh, I just want to take a moment to recognize that I'm able to do that. I'm blessed to be able to do that. And I hope that when you watch it, it either A, inspires you to go do it yourself, or B, you get some ideas of how to do it. Uh, I can't be there to walk you through the whole process. I can't tell you exactly where to go. And, um, but I hope that in some way I'm showing you how simple things can be. And even when I get a new idea of something I want to try out here and, you know, and, and on outside these levees, uh, you're like, okay, I want to try that too. Or whatever it is that you're getting out of this, even if it's just something that you could sit down and enjoy with your family, or if you're no longer able to do this, I hope that I'm giving something to you that you find value in. And uh, I just want y'all to know that you're giving something to me that I find value in, which is support. And um, just to know that it's not going out there and being seen by no one, you know? Um, it is being seen by folks and, and I am here, your I'm reading your comments. I'm just no longer able to reply to all of them like I was able to at one point because I still have other obligations with my family, with you know our household. And I just felt like I got to a point where I can't reply to all of them. You know, I've kind of had to finally admit that to myself. And uh, I hope that we can all still find joy and value in communicating with each other. And I'll try to do the best that I can for y'all. And I want to thank y'all for being there for me. So let's go check the rest of these lines and see what we got. So the jug is under there with a the fish on it. I can't really get under there. Uh, I don't know if I gotta wait for him to come back out or what. I don't know. Stay tuned. Alright, he's coming out. Let me see if I can get him. let it go. <laughs> it was a garfish. He would not let go of it, but wouldn't eat it either. All right. Well, at least I got my jug back. Let's go check some other ones. See if they'll let me get to him. All right. Let's see. What's he doing? Come here, fish. There he is. Oh, he's a good one. I don't know what it is, though. Let's see pulling I gotta try to keep him on there oh it's a good catfish real nice catfish yes indeed folks look at that pretty one heck yeah all right y'all I got my catfish cleaned up and I've got a new product here for my friends at Creole Soul this is their rice mix with some bell pepper, some onion, and some Creole seasoning, something super easy already put together. All you have to do is cook it. You can go check them out at eatcreolesoul.com. Really nice folks, go check them out on Instagram as well, Creole Soul, Eat Creole Soul. I can't wait to try this stuff. Thank y'all so much for sending it. Let's get right into it. All right, I did like the instruction said, and I dropped some butter in there. 
Got two cups of water and I'm gonna drop this whole pack in. Stir that up. Man, they got a lot of good seasoning in that rice. They even put a bay leaf in there for you. Definitely go check them out. EatCreoleSoul.com. Nice folks keeping the traditions alive, which is super important. We're gonna go ahead and cover that up and put it down to a simmer. All right, all I'm gonna do is just a quick broil on this catfish. I'm gonna put some olive oil in there. Move that all around. Lay my fish out. And then for seasoning, I'll just go with some Creole seasoning. Don't need to go too, too heavy on that. And about like that. We'll go with garlic powder. About like that. We'll go with some good pink Himalayan salt. Check me out, boy, with my pink Himalayan salt. Okay. And then a healthy dose of paprika. And watch how pretty that comes out with this paprika. Watch the color you get under that broiler. It really is a pretty, pretty sight to see. Okay. And then we'll just top it off with some more olive oil. All right, once you get all that, just go ahead and use this brush. Make sure everything is coated. Just gonna dab, 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 like so. Get everything coated. All right, look at that. Beautiful broiled fish. So good. And that Creole rice from eatcreolesoul.com. Go see my friends. Get you something good to eat. Now let's put it all together. All right, we're gonna get us some catfish on a plate. Mm -hmm. Yes, indeed, yes, indeed. Get us some catfish on that plate. Get us some of that delicious Eat Creole Soul. Creole rice. Mm, mm, mm. Now that's a meal, folks. All right, folks, look at that. Such an easy way to catch your own catfish. Go try it out. Get you some noodles. Tie some line to them. Tie a hook to it and put some bait on it. There's really not much to it. It's such a simple, easy way to catch fish. Just get inspired to get out there and do something to bring home your own food. And that's the results. Now we got to try it. So I'm gonna scoop up some fish, try that first. I like to mix my fish with some rice. Mmm, amazing. Healthy little family dinner. Thank you so much for being with me. Week in, week out, we're gonna keep the train rolling and we'll see you on the next one.